Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another adventure of Ferrari, the fearless Hero X-Pulse 200. Today we are joined by Skinny, Yolandi and friends who are so excited they've started dancing, possibly to peer pressure. With all the necessities packed, we made our way along the short bit of tar to the famous Canal Road. The canal stems from Hartbeerspurt Dam and stretches nearly 100 kilometers into the northwest province, feeding all the farmers its juicy wateriness. Obviously the canal needs upkeep, and to do that they have built a road alongside it that is also conveniently being used by farmers to get to their farms, and by us, because it makes a truly terrific ride. What makes it great is that it's not very difficult to ride at all. Even the absolute newbies can do it. There are no hard climbs, not many weird surfaces, and it's only an hour outside of Joburg, starting near the Upper Deck Stop Street and stretching out 85 kilometers towards Tabazimbi. Even though it's not difficult, it is ever so enjoyable, like a dirt version of the famous 22 tar road in Mpumalanga. It twists beautifully, threading through some of the best scenery this part of the country can muster. If you race through the entire canal road, you could probably do it in an hour and a half to two hours. But that's not how we were doing it. We first stopped because Skinny saw herself as some sort of a horse whisperer. Except that no one had told the horses that. Then we stopped under a bridge to admire some of the more casual artwork, while secretly enjoying some shade. A few miles of chilled riding later, we eventually discovered that Skinny's talents did not lie in horse whispering, but rather in donkey braying. This is Slippers, the mildly deformed donkey who was spared the glue factory by his owners and now resides with his pals the cows along the canal road, happily greeting passing mad people. After some wholesome bonding we set forth once more, with other people in the party having a go on Ferrari and enjoying it thoroughly. Everyone there on the day was on singles, mostly above 300cc, so Ferrari was a touch down in power compared to them. But riding these other thumpers reminded me of how smooth that Hero motor is. Almost eerily smooth. How do they do that from an engine configuration that is notorious for shaking remains a mystery. What is also apparent is how well everything else works on the bike, including the brakes, the suspension, the chassis in general and the comfort of the seat. It gives the rider a confidence that perhaps more than makes up for the bike's shortages in horsepower. The canal road kept getting better and better, mixing various water crossings, more twisty dirt roads, and then taking a pause to have a picnic on one of the farmer's beautifully kept lawns. After that, it was Skinny's turn on the Ferrari, and she seemed to enjoy it very much. We eventually ended up so far ahead of the rest of the group that we had some time for some light game watching. She also did a number on Ferrari, hitting every puddle and crossing at around a million miles an hour and causing splashes that can be seen from space. And the dirtiest Ferrari in the world. Eventually, after 85 kilometers of fun riding and four hours of picnics and wildlife interfering, we made it to our destination. The Beerste Kral Stasi. As the name suggests, it started life as a train station, but as those went out of fashion, it fashioned up and became a trendy, funky restaurant where people who have just enjoyed four hours of canaling can relax and enjoy themselves. Ferrari, the fearless hero X-Pulse, was exemplary. It was fun, it was easy to ride, it was comfortable, and under all of Skinny's grime and odd-smelling dirt, it was still good as new. Ready for the next adventure. That was fun. So much fun in fact that we thought why don't we invite a whole lot of people to come do the canal road with us. So I went to Hero, they said that's a brilliant idea and I said well hang on do they have to be on Heroes, can we invite other people? They said no let's get a bunch of people there. So great news, on the 9th of October we are organizing the Thumper Canal Ride along the canal road that you've just seen 
an 85 kilometer fun happy sociable non-competitive ride couple of rules uh, first one is that you have to be on a road legal single cylinder motorcycle hence the word thumper or if you really want to a road legal motorcycle less than 500 cc's obviously they need to do off-road there's a whole lot of off-road riding but uh, come along 9th of October we meet over here at Mulligan's Mulligan's pub we're about four or five kilometers from the damn wall uh, look it up on Google Mulligan's pub otherwise go look up here motorcycles on social media or join the group or anything hero will be here they'll have a whole lot of demo bikes for you to try you might even get a go on Ferrari if you promise to look after him so see you all here 8 o'clock 9th of October riders briefings at 8 45 so 8 o'clock for coffee 8 45 riders briefing we head off at about 9 o'clock we'll see you all here 9th of October once if you're a small capacity thumper rider, you've put that in your diary. You might as well also make a note that Hero will this year have a presence at the Roof of Africa, mother of all hard enduros. They will be back up for you if you want to compete on your Hero, which was done to great effect last year already. But more to the point for the social Hero riders, that support will be available to those who go along to check out the event as a spectator. It is something I have done myself in the past and I can highly recommend making the effort. Have a look at Hero's South African website or the Hero Riders Facebook page for further info and be prepared for a truly awe-inspiring couple of days. And with that recommendation to visit the mountains of Lesotho, we have run out of time once again. We'll be back in a week with a new episode, so see you then.